Hi, everyone. Thank you so much for joining today's webinar on the American Made Solar Desalination Prize. We are going to get started in a, in a few minutes, but we'd like to give everyone a chance to get logged in. So if you'll just sit tight, we will begin in a few minutes. Thank you. All right, I think we're going to go ahead and get things started for today. Once again, thank you everyone for joining today's American Made Solar Desalination Prize Program Overview Webinar. My name is Jackie Petrie and I am from the NREL Prize team. Um, at any point during this webinar, if you have questions, please feel free to submit them to the question pane within the GoToWebinar tool. Um, we will have a Q&A session at the end of the presentation and try to get to as many questions as possible. So to get things started, I'm going to hand it over to Sarah Gomash of the NREL Prize team. Great, thank you so much, Jackie, and thank you everyone for joining. Um, as Jackie mentioned, my name is Sarah Gomash. I uh, work at NREL as part of the prize team administering the American Made Solar Desalination Prize. Um, today, we will go through a quick welcome and some introductions, give you an overview of the prize, discuss some important dates, walk you through the process to submit to the first phase of this prize, talk about the American Made Network that's here to support you, and then take any of your questions at the end of the session. So the, uh, the Solar Desalination Prize is part of the American Made Challenges, which is a program funded by the U.S. Department of Energy to incentivize the nation's entrepreneurs to strengthen American leadership in energy innovation. Today, we have 10 different challenges as a part of this family across multiple offices at the U.S. Department of Energy, including this Solar Desalination Prize. This specific prize aims to expand the availability of fresh water by cost effectively treating challenging um, water using solar thermal energy. 
The Solar Desalination Prize is part of a larger effort known as the Water Security Grand Challenge, which is a White House initiated and DOE led framework to advance transformational technology and innovation to meet the global need for safe, secure, and affordable water. So the Solar Desalination Prize has two main components. The first is a four-stage prize competition to accelerate efforts to develop innovative solar desalination concepts into commercially viable products. And the second is the support of the American Made Network. We'll go through both of these components today on this webinar. So first off, the goal of the prize, again, is to develop innovative solar thermal desalination concepts into commercially viable products. This prize seeks innovations relevant to all desalination related end uses, which includes generating both potable and non-potable water while minimizing concentrated brine generation from a variety of inputs, such as seawater, inland brackish water, agricultural drainage, and oil gas extraction produced water. Solutions may be located on or off the coastline, on or off grid, and have a small, medium, or large throughput. Please note that this prize is not interested in targeting desalination technologies that are primary electrically powered. Um, so I think one of the things to take away here is the prize is really looking for something broad. Um, I think we often get a lot of questions from people of, does this fit? Does this fit? Is my idea a good fit for the prize? And I would say as long as it kind of falls into these general categories, um, it definitely fits. So a solar desalination system's design is highly dependent on the type of water that it will be used to treat, the available solar resources, and the required quality of the fresh water pro produced. For whatever scenario you submit, you must clearly identify the market and application that you're targeting. You are responsible for presenting performance metrics for your innovation, and when working on your submission, please visit the technical specifications and performance metrics page to help with this process. So I really encourage you to visit this website. We'll talk more about how to access these um, technical metrics and the website later on in this presentation, but please refer to them as you're putting your submission package together. As I mentioned, kind of with the prize being so broad and looking for different things, um, we really encourage you to look at the metrics um, and explain kind of where your innovation fits in and why it's better than other options out there. So the prize consists of four consecutive contests. Each contest will include a period where competitors will work rapidly to advance their solution, culminating in an operational prototype demonstration of your technology at a test facility using high saline water. In the first phase of the prize program, Innovation, which is open now, we're looking for individuals or groups of competitors to demonstrate that you have a novel and feasible concept for a technology that can deliver desalinated water using solar thermal energy. This innovation can be either a system component or an entire system. And winners here will receive $50,000 in cash and be eligible to compete in the next contest. Please note that you must win the previous contest to be eligible for the next contest. So if you are interested in progressing through this entire prize, you must submit and win at this stage. The second contest, is the teaming contest. So once you've won the innovation contest, you'll work to establish and solidify a complete cross-functional project team that can take a preliminary innovative desalination concept into a fully operational prototype. Winning teams here will receive $250,000 in cash and $100,000 in vouchers to redeem, be redeemed at a national lab or a facility in the American Made Network. The third contest here is the design contest where competitors who won the teaming contest will work to complete a detailed design of their proposed prototype of a solar thermal desalination facility to the point that you're shovel ready for a site located in the US. Winning teams here will receive $750,000 in cash and another $100,000 in vouchers. The final contest is the test phase where competitors will build their prototype system with a production capability of at least 100 cubic meters of fresh water a day. Teams that win the test contest will be awarded a million dollars in cash. So I wanna quickly emphasize here the difference between something like a prize program and a grant. 
The prize program, we give you a scope during each stage of this contest. Um, you're evaluated at the end of that. And if you, if you win that contest, you get a cash reward. This is straight cash, uh, no strings attached. We expect that you use that cash to reinvest in your innovation and move through the next phase of the contest. But unlike a grant program, there's not reporting on it. Um, you don't have to kind of provide us with all of those details around it. It really is a straight cash prize awarding you for the work that you did during that competition phase. As I mentioned, we are currently in the first phase, uh, the innovation contest. You have until July 16th to submit your entry. Winners of the innovation contest will be announced in September. Then the teaming contest will start. Again, you must win the innovation contest to compete in the teaming contest, though part of the teaming contest is those winners are looking for a team, so you could potentially join, join a team um, that's progressing. Submissions for teaming will be due in January. Winners will be announced in March. And then the next two phases of the contest, the design and the test phase, give competitors several years to complete their work. Submissions for the design contest will be taking on a rolling basis. Um, but remember, in order to compete in any of these contests, you must first win the innovation contest, which we're talking about today. Um, as we continue to go through the phases of the prize, we'll continue to give you kind of updates and details and walk you through each step of the way. So we're really focused um, on the innovation phase today. So who is eligible? Uh, for the innovation contest, private entities, both for-profit and non-profit, academic institutions, and individuals can compete as long as they meet the following criteria. Private entities must be incorporated in and maintain a primary place of business in the United States with majority domestic ownership and control. If an entity is seeking to commit that does not have domestic ownership and control, but otherwise meets the eligibility requirements outlined in the official rules, the US Department of Energy Office of Energy Efficiency and Renewable Energy may consider issuing a waiver of that eligibility requirement where the entity submits an eligible uh, compelling justification. Entries seeking a waiver should include that justification in their submission, and you can contact us for more information if you're interested. Academic institutions must be based in the United States. Um, an individual competitor who is not part of a member or a group but is just submitting on behalf of themselves must be a United States citizen or permanent resident. A group of individuals may submit, may compete as a team. Um, the online account holder of that group must be a US citizen or permanent resident. For the later contest, individuals are not eligible to win. They may be part of a team, but the submission must be submitted by an entity in the US. Again, that's only for the later contest. For innovation contest, individuals are certainly eligible as long as they meet these uh, eligibility criteria. So again, in the innovation contest, we are looking for individuals or groups of competitors uh, that demonstrate they have identified a novel and feasible concept for a technology that can deliver desalinated water using solar thermal energy. It can be a component or an entire system. And successful competitors and contest in this contest will have taken steps to determine the technical feasibility, scalability, and other potential benefits of the proposed solution and articulated a credible pathway to commercialization. Again, the prize for winning this phase is $50,000 and you move on to the teaming contest. I do encourage you to please read through these official rules. Um, you can find them on the website and on the HeroX page, which I'll walk through shortly. All of the details on eligibility, what we're looking for and the technical requirements are there. Um, so please take some time to go through that document. Finally, please note on your calendars, the submission deadline is July 16th at 3 p.m. Eastern time. Um, we always encourage you to not wait until the last minute and get your submission in a little early in case you run into any technical difficulties during the submission process. Again, that deadline is July 16th at 3 p.m. Eastern time. For more information on the prize, you can visit our webpage it is AmericanMadeChallenges.org slash solar desalination. 
This web page will have a similar overview to what I just presented here. At the top, you'll see the navigational um, menu where you can access that technical specifications document I mentioned earlier. So bookmark this page, um, please be sure to visit it. Once you decide that you'd like to submit to the prize, you can click on this red join the challenge button and that will take you off of our web page and into a system called HeroX. HeroX is the system that we use uh, for submissions and processing your applications. When you go to HeroX, uh, you'll see the opportunity and that red button to solve this challenge. You click there, you'll be prompted to set up an account and you'll be able to access the submission form. Also in HeroX, this will be the most uh, kind of dynamic and up-to-date resource for you. You see that navigation bar kind of at the bottom. Um, if you're actually on HeroX, that'll appear in the middle of your page. And you'll be able to find um, a lot of useful information here. You have an overview of the prize. You can find the official rules under that guidelines tab, important dates under the timeline. The updates tab will um, have published update official communication from NRAIL. There's a forum there that you can ask questions or interact with other competitors, um, some resources, and always are frequently asked questions. So again, you can navigate to this page in two ways. Number one, you can go from that American Made Challenges website um, and click that you're ready to join the challenge. Or two, you can navigate directly to it with this link here. It's herox.com slash solar desalination. Um, just a note, we are recording this webinar and we'll make it available for you afterwards. It'll be posted up here on HeroX. So as long as you can make it here, you can uh, refer back to anything in this webinar. So we just wanted to show you what a couple of these pages in HeroX will look like. You can see that you can access the official rules under guidelines. You can see um, some of the topics in the forum. We encourage you to post any questions that you have there. Um, or if you're looking to interact with any other competitors, the forum is definitely a great place to do that. So what do you need to submit? Um, there are several components to the submission package, all of which you will upload onto HeroX. The first is a 90 second video. Um, again, here we're not looking for something of um, Hollywood production quality, um, but we are looking for something that kind of gives an overview of you and your idea. Um, this video after the review period will also be made publicly available um, so people can kind of browse and see what you're submitting. A lot of times when our expert reviewers go through your submissions, this 90 second video is where they start. Um, so I would encourage you to put kind of as much relevant information in there as possible. Then you'll have a cover page. There will be a template up on HeroX for you um, where you'll fill in information about your you, your team, um, and some overall contact information. The bulk of your submission is this technical narrative. It is a 2,500 word limit uh, where we ask you to answer three questions. You definitely uh, are in charge of kind of what you want to put in there. These questions are meant to guide um, that response. The three questions that we're really looking for you to answer are number one, does your submission describe a novel solution that can deliver desalinated water using solar thermal energy? Number two, is your solution technically feasible? And number three, will your proposed solution be impactful? So again, this is another place to so please go back to those technical specification documents um, and make sure you include some of that key information in this narrative. The next thing you'll need is a summary PowerPoint slide. This will also be made publicly accessible, um, but it's just a quick snapshot and overview one page slide of your proposed solution. And then if you have any letters of commitment or support, you're welcome to attach those too. They are not required um, at this stage, but if you have them, we're always happy to see them. Again, I encourage you to refer to the official rules as all of this information is outlined there. But I want you to know that your submissions will be reviewed by a panel of industry experts. Um, in the rules for each question and each component, 
you'll see the bullet you'll see bullet points on the suggested suggested content you should include and then uh, statements that the reviewers are looking for. So this will really help you um, kind of tailor that technical narrative um, and what you submit knowing kind of what exactly the reviewers are looking for. I won't go through this in depth today, but again, it is all outlined in that official rules document. And I do encourage you to read through that in depth um, as you prepare your submission. So we've covered the first part of this solar desalination prize, the, uh, the $10 million prize competition and the four contests. The next portion that we're going to go through is this American Made Network. The American Made Network uh, is a, it's a network of over 130 organizations um, across the U.S. that have all raised their hands and said that I am interested and able to help energy entrepreneurs. They could be universities, think tanks, incubators, uh, maker spaces, fabrication facilities, test sites. Um, essentially, any organization that's out there that says that they are there to help you. Um, for this prize specifically, if you do work with the connector, they are rewarded with a cash prize. So in addition to the cash prizes that we're giving you, um, we are giving, we have about $400,000 of prize pools to give to connectors that help. This is also outlined in the rules, but if a connector recruits a new competitor for the innovation contest that isn't applied for funding from CEDO in the past, we'll award you with a $5,000 award. So I think there are probably two types of people kind of out there listening today. The first are people that are really interested in applying to this prize and you see yourself kind of with an idea and as an innovator in this space um, and ready to apply and compete in the prize program. I think the second is this kind of group of you that are out there that are saying, this is really interesting. I don't see myself as a competitor, but I could definitely help some of these competitors. And so this is the place for you to really engage. So what has to happen is you'll visit our website. Again, it's here, solar desalination slash network. Um, you'll sign up to be a connector in our network. It's a short, quick form. Uh, once you're approved connector in that network, you are eligible for any of these awards for helping out teams. Um, teams, if you're out there saying this sounds like a great resource, how do I tap into it and find these people that have raised their hands and said, I'm willing and able to help. Um, you can also visit this website. There's a map there with contact information for the different uh, organizations and you are welcome to reach out and work with them. Um, I think this American Made Network is one of the things that makes the American Made Challenges program so interesting and exciting that we aren't just here giving out cash awards, but we really have an infrastructure in place to help you be successful. So I encourage you to reach out to these network partners. Um, if you're working with anyone that would be a good network partner, definitely encourage them to sign up. And if you're sitting there saying, I think I'm an organization that could really help one of these teams, also please sign up because then you can also get some financial awards. So let's recap here. Uh, if you're kind of on the fence, why should you compete? The first thing is that if you make it through all four phases of this prize, you uh, are getting over $2 million of straight cash. The second piece is that you're getting $200,000 in vouchers and access to national labs. So these vouchers, we didn't spend much time talking about today, but they, uh, really give you a way to work with a researcher at one of our national labs at a facility in this network. It's an extra $100,000 to really help move your innovation forward with some support. And then the third thing is you have access to and support from that American made network. So kind of these three pieces come together into this prize um, really to help you go from idea to something that's test ready at the end of the process. So to get started, again, you can visit our website, americanmadechallenges.org slash solar desalination. You'll see the navigation up there, that technical specs page. Again, you see that up in the upper right, the network link that we just talked about, and that red button where you can join the challenge. Finally, uh, we'll go through and answer some questions here today. Um, if you have other questions that aren't addressed here that you think of later, um, please either post them in the HeroX forum where uh, we showed you earlier, 
or you can email uh, the prize administration team at solardesalprize at nrel.gov and we can definitely help answer some of those questions. Um, it looks like we're getting some questions in here on the forum um, and we'll go through and try to answer some of these. Um, we have a couple questions on some of the technical specifications for different systems. I would encourage you to uh, look at those technical spec documents and the rules um, for the specifics around different applications um, and different you know, technical achievements that we're looking for. We can also take some of these technical questions that you're asking and specifically address them on the forum. Um, will this webinar be recorded and posted publicly? Yes, it will be. Uh, we will post it, as I said, on HeroX, um, and I believe also on our social media. You can follow us on Twitter at AMC Prizes, um, and you'll find a link to the webinar there or on the HeroX probably later today. I see some questions about eligibility. Can people living outside the U.S. apply with a team in the U.S.? Um, I encourage you to go back and revisit the rules specifically on eligibility, but as we mentioned, um, entities and academic institutions need to be domestic or team captains need to be a U.S. citizen or permanent resident. Um, we have a lot of questions about the audio, so hopefully you all were able to hear this presentation. Again, if you weren't, it will be recorded and shared later. Um, how many of the $50,000 prizes during the innovation phase are awarded? We are anticipating awarding um, 20 prizes in that first round for $50,000 each, and then we'll down select at the following rounds. Is an individual in a national lab eligible for this prize application? Again, I would refer you to the rules, um, but I believe as long as you are not a direct part of the prize administration team, national lab staff are eligible to apply. If you're an employee at a national lab, what's the best way to participate? Um, either as a part of a team or in the later phases, if you have specific expertise um, that teams could tap into as part of that voucher process. And if you want to email us, we're happy to talk you through that voucher process a little bit more. Uh, we have a question here on how conf how is confidential information handled as a part of the judging evaluation. Um, we so as I mentioned, your part of your submission is public uh, that video and the summary slide. So I would not put any confidential information in there, as anyone will be able to access it once the prize period concludes. The ex panel of expert reviewers are all asked to sign an NDA. Uh, when they go in and review your submissions. And then they'll also be reviewed by the U.S. Department of Energy. Um, does the submission of, we have a question here on, does the submission of confidential information provide an advantage or disadvantage? I would say um, just kind of look at what the questions are answering or are asking and answer to the best of your ability, whether that is um, confidential or non-confidential information. I think Obviously, you need to give the review panel enough information that they can make an educated decision and really understand what your what your proposal is and if it's technically feasible. Um, so I would kind of leave that up to you, but knowing that expert reviewers do sign that NDA. Do you have a way to see prior winners and their submissions? So for the solar desalination prize, uh, no, this is the first time and first round of the prize. So there aren't any previous winners under this prize. In Hero X, you can see some of the winners from uh, some of the other prize programs that were running under the American Made Challenges. 
but note that each prize is slightly different um, in terms of their criteria, what they're looking for, what their requirements are, and what people are submitting. Um, so it'll definitely give you an idea if you want to watch some videos and just kind of see um, the level that people are doing there. But I wouldn't necessarily model your submission off of what you see in other prizes. A uh, question on should our video include any proprietary information? Um, no, your video will be made publicly available. Um, if an entity applies, is there any equity sharing with NREL? Nope, there is not any equity sharing with NREL. We are just administering the prize program and giving straight cash. Um, so we are not taking any equity. Um, let's take a look here. We have some questions about IP. Um, again, I would refer you to the rules. I think how each team handles that will be a little bit different. Um, as I mentioned, Part of your submission is public at the beginning. Um, reviewers do sign a NDA when they review your submission. Um, and kind of throughout the prize program, you can work with your partners on what the best way to handle IP is. Are pre-existing teams at any advantage or disadvantage compared to individual company participants? I would say no. Um, I think in the first phase, we're really open to you, a team, uh, entity, an academic institution, kind of whoever, whoever you have to put that submission together. Um, you will also see in the official rules you know, the bullet points that the reviewers are looking at your submission. Um, how many teams out of the 20 teams will go on to the second round? So we anticipate awarding as I said, 20 teams in the first phase, then down selecting to about 10 winning that teaming contest, um, and then continuing to down select from there. How does one find out about the results? Um, we will post all of the results on that HeroX website. Uh, NREL and DOE also typically um, announce the winners as we go through this process. In the technical section, can we put in drawings or figures? Uh, yes, you can. You'll see in uh, the rules, it does note that you can include some of those. Will DOE get IP rights to prize solutions? No, they will not. Um, where do we go to access publicly available materials? I think the HeroX website is your, is your best source and that American Made Challenges website. Can you clarify how to register with the American Made Challenges? Um, does that red button automatically send you to HeroX? Uh, yes, that red button will automatically send you to HeroX where you can sign up. Um, there's a couple more questions here about intellectual property. So as I mentioned, we do have that American Made Network and a couple of our connectors um, do deal with IP law. So I think that would also be a great resource for you to reach out to if you have questions about IP and how to navigate that process. Um, I think that's the bulk of the questions. Um, again, some of these specific questions about technical specifications, um, we can look at in more detail and post answers on the forum. Um, Let's see, a couple more questions on the submissions. Can, is the 2,500 word limit excluding figures? Yes, it is excluding figures. Um, is the team matching section of HeroX the best or only place to look for technology partners to submit an application? That's a great question. So we definitely encourage you guys to sign up for HeroX and to use the forum and some of the features there. Um, as a place to look for partners. I'd also encourage you to look through 
the American Made Network and some of the organizations there may be able to help you find partners for the submission. Um, again, for the first innovation phase, if you have an idea for a system or a component of that system, you are welcome to submit it on your own. Um, and the second phase will focus kind of in depth on that teaming aspect. Does the technology need to be mature before we apply? Uh, no, it does not. At this stage, it can just be a well thought out idea with a plan on how it would become more uh, mature. Can an entity submit more than one idea for the innovation phase? Yes, I believe a single entity can have up to three submissions in the innovation phase. Um, let's just see what else is coming in here. Can multiple members of the team sign up on the HeroX site? Yes, definitely multiple members of the team can sign up. Um, HeroX has the functionality where you then form a team. So you put all of the people that signed up into your team and designate a team captain. Um, again, I think I see a couple more kind of specific questions coming in. We will uh, try to address some of these on the HeroX page if we weren't able to get to them today. Um, here's another question. Does it need to be an innovation at an idea basis or can you apply if one is already building a D-cell unit for testing? Yes, you can um, either an idea or something that's already in the works. We will take it all. Will the videos be made public before or after the first round of awards? Um, they will be made after the first round of awards. So nothing will be public until we announce those 20 winners. Um. I think, I think we've hit on most of the topics that have come um, in through the questions here. Again, we will follow up on any of these in the uh, HeroX forum. We will also have this presentation publicly available later today. Um, we're appreciative of you guys taking the time to join us. If we didn't get to a question today and you don't see an answer posted on the forum, please remember you can reach out to us in a couple of different ways. We are here to help you through the next couple of months until we get to that July 16th uh, submission deadline. So good luck to all of you. Um, thank you for joining us and we really do look forward to your submissions. And with that, I think